Um, for the newcomers, we are waiting for Sarah to prepare some of the audits and other stuff. So um, maybe we're gonna wait two or three more minutes. Thanks for your patience. Cool. I think um, we are ready to go. And um, again, thank, thanks for the audience coming today for the Staffy Community Core. I'm Shirley. And um, this is the April Staffy Community Core. And um, following is the agenda. First of all, Sarah is going to uh, introduce about our past two months progress and the key dog targets for the following months as well as our community report before the olivia gonna give the speech about our dow monthly report our spending everything so um i gonna mainly introduce the product and the bd side um after that signal gonna tour gonna introduce our new um since following the staffy 2.0 you know like we have been talking this for weeks and now it's um officially announced and this is very important for the Staffy Hour community. So um, first of all, Sarah, could you please introduce about the things that we have done for the past two months? Sarah? Yes. Hey, can you hear me, Shirley? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, OK. Oh, sorry. Please wait me one minute. Okay, let's let's continue. Uh, hello, everyone. Glad to see you at this meeting. Uh, today, I will divide this speech in three parts. A recap of the accom accomplishments, the community process in the past two months, and the key targets for the following month. In the past two months, there have some progress in product development, especially for Steffi 2.0. Uh, as our soap migration completed and launched on Solana chain in January, the bridge for uh, the bridge for our soap from Steffi chain to Solana will be closed on April 30th to mitigate potential risks from unused bridges. Uh, so, uh, so stakers are advised to promptly. Uh, properly to properly migrate their RSO to Solana before that time. Uh, it's worth noting that this remote this remove will not impact the bridge uh, the bridge for fa for phase between Steffi and Solana. In addition, R dot and RKSM related functions have been removed from our token app uh, after considering multiple factors such as uh, particular contribution, tech possibility, and so on. Steffi 2.0 has been the focal point of our work for the past two months. In March, Steffi, Steffi 2.0 has been released, which is a significant upgrade and a rebrand in terms of product position, tokenomics, and the overall security. Uh, for product position, Steffi 2. Point introduced LSAS, liquid staking as a service, a groundbreaking framework designed to dramatically enhance the flexible and efficiency of, stack, of staking mechanism. LSAS provide, uh, provides three core, core pre-built stacks. Is, is LSD stack, EVM LSD stack, and the Cosmosum LSD stack. Is LS, is LSD stack empowers develop, developer to uh, create their own is LSD simply and uh, integrate with DeFi protocols. EVM, uh, EVM LSD stack facilitates the 
deployment of LSD on EVM compatible blockchains by leverage by leverage a uh, robust de deployment toolkits. Cosmosum LSD stack simplifies LSD creation within the Cosmos ecosystem using the Cosmosum fra framework and uh, uh, supports de deployment on neutral and native cos Cosmos chains. In terms of tokenomics, Facebook introduced a, born, a burning uh, mechanism and added new and added new utilities. In, term, in terms of security, on top of the existing chain security, it will support contract, contract layer security, including sports and the frameworks for uh, multiple VMs, such as EVM and the WASM. Uh, furthermore, Bitcoin ecosystem is more and more emerging. Steffi will cooperate with the project in Bitcoin ecosystem to jointly uh, explore uh, LSD solutions for Bitcoin and uh, integrate them into the existing LSD infra layer uh, to further unlock the liquidity, liquidity of BTC and uh, simulate the potential of Bitcoin DeFi. Uh, as, as of now, LSAS has been launched on test night, which achieved a remarkable step for Steffi 2.0. You can check our social channels to get more details about the innovative product. <laughs> Roadmap is a, is an essential guide for Steffi's quarterly development. 2020, 2024 quarter, quarter two, Roadmap has been released, highlighting plans for LSAS integrations, uh, LRT stacks, LRT stack development, staff AI, and uh, face rebranding and burning. For LSAS integration, the focus in Q2 will be CLSD integration within LSAS, BNB transition, BNB transition to LSAS, Metis LSD. Uh, in inclusion in LSAS and explore more integration into LSAS. For LRT stack, the integration of LRT stack will enable will enable developers developers to build applications that uh, users can risk uh, risk risk rewards seamlessly leveraging the power and of compound interest to, maxima, to maximize their investment returns. For Staffy AI, integrating AI into Staffy LSA as well uh, enhance the smart delegation algorithm, maximize staking yields, mitigating losses, and strengthening decentralization. Uh, for face rebranding and burning product development, uh, we'll have priority over face rebranding process. Steffi will initiate comprehension, comprehensive discussions in the DAO forum to enhance uh, clarity and transparency before its implementation. In addition to the process, process of the about product, the liquidity in sensor tape on some DEXs is also ongoing. Olivia will give a summary on it. These are achievements that we have made in the past two months. Now let's discuss our key, our key target for upcoming month. In the following months, in the following months, the emphasis is on advancing the showcase of LSAS test night, which includes the imminent deployment of ETH and the autumn liquid staking tokens, alongside the ongoing de deployment of CLST. Furthermore, uh, the, de the development of our LRT stack is underway and it's uh, expected to be launched on the test night in April, coinciding with the launch of the Angular Minight. Uh, now let's remove the community process. In the past two months, community process, community process, process have been going smoothly. 
Steph Warren's work have been adjusted according, according, accordingly based on Steph's development strategies. BD Moderate should focus on promoting more layer one solutions and actively encourage LSD product project to utilize DeFi 2.0 and engage potential partners for integration with DeFi 2.0. Our Twitter influencers could initiate some DeFi 2.0 related topics, make some Twitter thread, and create videos to expand the DeFi 2.0 influence in the community. Uh, this is my host bit. Thank you. Hey, Shirley. Thanks, Sarah. Um, so Sarah gave, gave us a very um, comp comprehensive summary about the past two months' work. Olivia is going to mainly introduce about our DAO treasury. Over to you, Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hey, guys. Uh, you can hear me, right? Uh, OK. Um, I'm going to summarize the Safi DAO for the two, past two months so you can get a clearer picture of what's going on. So as always, the first is DAO Treasury revenue and expenditure from February to March. Revenues for the various R tokens has been changed over the past two months but have generally shown growth. And the latest revenue figures have been updated to Stuffy Dow Treasury's public stars pages. So feel free to check it out uh, for it if you are interested. And about the DeFi liquidity incentives, during February, we provide about 100, uh, 149,000 fish in liquidity incentives. And for much, the number is about 93,000 fishes uh, to incentive to the in DeFi liquidity users. As we know that there are incentives on some platforms that continue a closed month. So everyone who wants to increase their earnings in DeFi incentives, it would be a good help to keep following a Safi official media accounts. And besides that, during the two months, we have expenditure of about 50,000 fish for the Chainlink CCIP service and also about 17,000 fish for Safi Armatic Relay. The next one is the integration service fee. The integration service fee currently includes the Chainlink CCIP automation service and the sender service, also the SSV DVT service. In February and March, the real time expenditure of Chainlink CCIP services is around 180 links, and for the SSV DVT service, is around uh, 70 SSV. So just in case you are confused about this, it is important to mention here again that these are recharge and use services. So there will be some time lag between the amount spent by StuffyDAO and the real-time consumption. If you want to know the real-time fees, you can check the just post it on the forum. Now let's talk about the community incentive. The community incentive is expenditure for these two months are about 42,000 fish in total. We modify the requirements for warriors and rangers and the way they contribute to stuff it months ago. <coughs> <coughs> this change was explored in some deep in our October 2023 DAO report. You can have a chat if there are any questions about it. And we also have some updates on treasury fish staking. As we mentioned before, the DAO treasury fish staking proposal got passed by community voting and the fish in treasury now is staking in phases and will be finalized in weeks. 
This section allows the consensus to run more securely, as well as staking holders and validators to rebuild changes over time, such as reverse decentralization, etc. According to the proposal to enhance the security of DAO treasury assets, a multi site wallets are needed. The DAO treasury fish migration is ongoing and the whole migration will take about three months. So for following up the progress, you can check the DAO treasury fish addresses and the multi site wallet addresses, which will be found on the study documentation and also on the forum. And the last one I'd like to share with you guys is the DAO progress from February to March. In fact, as all the Stuffy announcement channels, no matter the Stuffy X account or Telegram or Discord or any other channels, are updating the latest info about Stuffy, what I'm going to say is uh, already the old news. But let's make a summary and made the path to Stuffy 2.0 clearer. As we've done so many works, I will just pick some of them here. During February, we have a new run of Stuffy RE farming campaign launch, and also a new run of liquidity farming campaign for our Atten Atten is launched too. We have a mode, we have a voting for our launch pad season one, our token listing passage, and also a proposal for LRT submitted on which Savvy is among the first to submit a listing proposal to Eigenlayer. Also, we have our days on also migration and also introduction on how Savvy slats. SSV operators to the community. And during the March, here comes the Stuffy staking letter, letter uh, number three, Stuffy 2.0, which is released on which Stuffy clarified the target of the new era and the path of realization. Moving towards liquid staking as a service, Stuffy is going to make something big with ETH LSD, even LSD, and Cosmos and LSD. Also with LRT stock, we call LSD and more possibilities. Also, we've released a new website for the Stuffy 2.0. And also the Stuffy LSAS launch on the testnet. Now we have the last part, also the most important one recently, we have released the Q2 roadmap on which you can say, we can see that the LSAS integration, the LS, LRT stock, Staffy AI and the Fish rebrand and burn, we'd like to make it happen as soon as possible following the plan. So in terms of market response, Stuffy 2.0 is by far the biggest consensus in the Stuffy community. The next step is to enhance this consensus base and expand it further. Well, uh, that's all I'd like to share with you guys. And once again, I have to say that talents are wanted. Let's build Stuffy 2.1 together and create a win-win future for everyone involved. Uh, in a world, let's rock it. Thank you. Thanks, Olivier. Um, so next part is about the product and ability side. Um, let me zoom it. Yeah, as you can see, like as you know, we have um, first of all the product work divided into three sections: Staffy, Elsas, the R launchpad, as well as a decentralization and a security. You know, like um, we have pumped to share some awesome progress for the February and the March for the product side and since have been buzzing here as David, as you can see, like Sarah and the Olivia has mentioned before. First of all, is a Staffy 2.0 
aka LSAS. And um, you know, like before, we are Staffy, the core multi chain LST project. Now we are ready for the Staffy 2.0, which is a complete upgrade and rebranded. And we have leveled up to become a liquid staking infrastructure layer and bring even more of the awesomeness to the table. As you can see, um, here's some of the gist. First of all, Staffy LSAS is here. Um, we have been launched our testnet um, on the March 25th, and this is a game changer, which lets us developers build the secure and the budget friendly LSTs or LRTs on different blockchains in a flash. Just think of it as a Lego for the building awesome LSTs. And the second part is the new tokenomics and the security features. As you know, like Staffy 2.0 have boasted and re revived the token model with the fresh utilities for the fees and the future, maybe the bone mechanism and the more uh, mechanism for the, our tokenomics. And this is still ongoing and more details will be released soon. And plus a security uh, at the front front, you know, like we're having really um, pay attention to it with the support for the contract layer, the security across the multiple the virtual machines. Okay, I think I have to, I'm sorry, um, Olivia, I'm gonna mute you. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so the second part um, is uh, our launch pad, you know, like uh, we have been working this for a while and we held uh, our launch pad season one, our token list and vote in the February and the community came out in force. 11 fantastic projects battled it out and the winner is uh, RC. So buck it up because Steffi is developing it next, RC. Um, the third part is the security and the decentralization. And we have been keeping things secure and decentralized. Transparency and the trust are the key for us. You know, so um, that's why we migrated a portion of the treasury fees to a multi sig account for extra the security. Additionally, as Sarah mentioned before, we have been migrated our, our swap bridge from the Staffy to Solana as well as other like our tokens in order to improve the security level so um for the bd part as you can see on the um right part we have been working on the product side uh for a while for the past two months but now we um are more like focused on the bd and the marketing side um, during the past few months, we have been work worked and no play, and we team up with some awesome platforms like Maddie's and the Kickpie, and we held the AMAs with them and boosted the liquidity pools for the R tokens like RBNB and RETH. Apart from that, we also supported the liquidity farming campaigns for our uh, Adam and our other the R tokens. So if you feel interested, just um, try our Staffy application and um, farm it. So I'm um, looking forward for the future of the Staffy, like, um, you know, like we have released our LSAS and Staffy 2.0 during the past weeks, and we're showing the progress made in the February and March. So Staffy 2.0 is really a major leap forward. And our launch pad actually is empowering the new projects and our collaboration on spreading the liquid staking love. So next part, we are more focused on the collaboration with even more layer one blockchains and the projects. So now back to marketing. And we are present more conferences during the following months. Uh, for example, this week, we're going to be presented in the Hong Kong Web3 conference. So stay tuned for more exciting news, and we continue to build the thriving the liquid staking ecosystem. I think this is the um, finished part for the product and the BD side. Next, um, Signal and Tour are going to have the speech about the our launch um, the Staffy 2.0 LST stocks and technical implementations. Um, wait for a second.
I already signal. Hey, Shirley, yeah. Uh, now I will introduce something, uh, some new feature about uh, Staffy liquid thinking as a service. Uh, so we know the uh, ERP4844 up, upgrade has further the pop popularity of layer two, uh, while Loop as a service has further uh, provided the development of uh, layer two solutions. Uh, inspired uh, by uh, Loop as a service and to address development and capital efficiency issues in liquid staking token. Steffi has introduced liquid staking as a service. Uh, it's short for LSAS. Uh, Steffi LSAS provides three core pre-built stacks catering to, uh, to different blockchain environments. Uh, one is uh, ATH LSD stack. Uh, this empowers developers develop to create their own ATH ETH LST uh, seamlessly. It integrates with uh, various uh, various DeFi protocols, uh, protocols enabling uh, effective staking pool management and growth. Uh, second is uh, EV EVM LST stack. Uh, this this stack uh, empowers the development of LST on EVM compatible blockchain uh, like uh, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and uh, uh, other EVM uh, compatible blockchain. Uh, and the last, uh, the Cosm Wasam LST stack. Uh, Cosm Wasam is a smart contract platform uh, focusing on security, performance, and inter uh, interoperability. It is the only smart uh, contracting platform for public blockchains with heavy adoption outside of the EVM world. Uh, Cosm Wasam LSD stack uh, CPLF, uh, CPLF's LSD uh, creation within the Cosmos ecosystem using the Coswasam framework. It supports development on, on new chain and the native Cos, Cosmos chains. All the stacks have been launched on the test night. And if you are a developer or, uh, or an LSD project team, uh, you are welcome to express it. Uh, we also recommend the surprising uh, to our mirror. More information about uh, Steph Elsas uh, will be updated on our mirror. Uh, thank you, that's all. Okay, um, thanks, Signal, um, for insights about the Steph 2.0. So next part is about the technical part tour. Um, you may give a speech about the technical implementations about the LSD stocks tour. Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. I'll share some key points about the technical implementation of the RSD stack. Uh, RSD stack is an open source software suit designed to promote the public good in the realm of seeking and uh, to fully unleash the power of decentralization. Uh, it's dedicated to mainstream chains such as Ethereum, uh, EVM um, compatible chains, Cosmos, and other. Uh, the aim of the stack is to simplify the process of running staking projects, thereby making it uh, effortless uh, for users. Uh, different LSD stack have different technical implementations because uh, the staking design of the original chain is different, but they also have something in common. Usually, the RSD stack includes three key elements. Uh, first, a smart contract framework. 
the sticking contracts framework is a robust and uh, efficient contract framework that uh, facilitates the afterless uh, creation and uh, deployment of uh, sticking pro contracts. Leveraging this framework, uh, developers uh, can swiftly build and uh, deploy sticking pro contracts with minimal ex exertion and uh, within a promote timeline. And uh, more specifically, it's uh, uh, mainly responsible for uh, handling sticking and sticking uh, reward distribution, withdrawals, etc. Uh, second, off chain relay service. Given the limitation of smart contracts, they are not self executing and uh, require an external force to trigger their functions. Relay is a service to drive LSD to properly process its own internal states, such as dealing with delegating and delegating uh, or distributing rewards and uh, calculating the rate between LSD and uh, the original coin. We introduce error con concept to de define how often the smart contract should be called. Uh, most of the time, an error is 24 hours. So usually the relay service is permissionless to run. Anyone can run the relay. However, for, for ETH, it's permissioned because it's responsible for relaying data from the consensus layer to the co smart contracts on the execution chain. So we need some permissioned voters to run the ETH relay and uh, upload data from off-chain to on-chain. Third, uh, user interface application. Uh, uh, this is easy to understand, mainly for one-click operation and uh, deployment of your own RSD network service. <clears throat> Generally speaking, RSD stack follows the U, uh, U3 uh, SE principle, which emphasize usability, uh, simplicity, uh, scalability, security, and uh, extensibility. Uh, also, in the design and uh, development of LSD stack, we have overcome many challenges. Some of the most common ones uh, include uh, uh, some um, smart contract immutability, uh, smart contracts cannot be modified once they are deployed, but uh, as projects involve, there is often a need to add new features to or uh, fix bugs. Uh, RSD stack uses the ERC-1822 UPS proxy pattern, which allows smart contracts to be upgraded while maintaining their original function functionality. Uh, uh, also, there are some security risks. Uh, sticking involves a lot of funds, so security ris risks are major challenging for projects. RSC stack uses a variety of security measures, including the time lock mechanism, validator withdrawal mechanism, and the mercury reward distribution mechanism. At the same time, we have been running related cases on the main network, uh, like uh, RETH, RITEM, RMATIC, etc. All of them have been working safely and uh, stably for years. Uh, and uh, the usability, RSC stack aims to simplify the operation of sticking projects. So usability is one of the core goals of uh, RSC stack. Uh, it uses a variety of designs, including the factory pattern, the trusted relay system, uh, and uh, especially for ETH, there are SSV client, injector client, to lower the oper oper uh, operational threshold of uh, the sticking projects. Uh, in the future, we will further optimize based on user feedback to improve the usability of the entire system. Uh, okay, that's all. Thanks. Um, thanks, Tor.
Thanks for the explanation about the technical side of the 2.0. So um, the final part is a free talk. Um, for anyone who have any questions or things want to say or thoughts, you can feel free and talk it out. Um, anyone have anything to say? By the way, it's Bitcoin halving month, so um, cheers for the Bitcoin halving month. So anyone want to um, share anything? If not, we're going to um, finish this community core and um, thanks for all the joining and um, Staffy 2.0 is really important for the Staffy and we thanks for all the community members stay with us and we're gonna be arrive in the future so be backed up thanks for the um the audience and thanks for all the members bye bye have a nice day bye 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 bye, bye. bye.